everyone. Welcome to Garden Yarns. My name is Christine. Uh, thank you for joining me today. I live in southern Ontario, not far from Niagara Falls, about a 20 minute drive. Today we had a mixture of light rain in the morning and early afternoon and then the sun's out now as you can see. So quite in, turned out quite nice today. Today I have a variety of things to show you. I've got an order from Hershner's. Lion Brand. A few of my Etsy things came in this week. Plus I also went shopping. And I also have a couple finished whips. Just some dishcloths. And sorry, I have finished objects. I have dishcloths that I finish. And the projects I'm working on this week is my HDC blanket. The purple and white one. And I also have my black sweater, I'm making progress on that. And what else do I have? Oh, and I did make some, get around to making some stitch markers. I just haven't listed them on Etsy yet. So I'll just grab a quick drink and we'll get started. As you can see, I'm also reorganizing my yarn corner over there. And I figured I'd jump on and show you what I got before I uh, put it out way nicely in the corner there. I'll start with my Hershner's order because that is handy. I wanted some more yarn to make the granny squares, but I also couldn't resist this color for puzzle yarn. So I had to get three of these. Of course, I had to get this one because it had the purple in it. Uh, this colorway is called Tan Graham, and it's Premier Puzzle Yarn. It's 100% acrylic. Oh, that's a pretty pattern on the label. It's Granny Squares. May have to do that one. Uh, this is 328 yards, 7 ounces, or 200 grams. It's a bulky 5. To me, it looks like it's more like a 4. Just one, just one minute. Hi, right, sorry about that. Welcome back. I thought I heard something. So I just showed my puzzle yarn. So the other yarn I got from Hershers was this four pack of blue. I'll go over the colors here. This is Hershner's Versus Yarn 8, 8 ounce ball. This is made in China, 100% acrylic, 8 ounces, 226 grams. And the color on here is, this is called Royal. Very pretty. The next one, the same 8 ounce ball, is called Midnight, so it's a darker blue. The next one is called Country Blue. Almost looks like a little bit of a periwinkle to me. Very pretty. And the last blue is called Stonewash. There we are. I'm going to make some more granny squares with this. You can never get it in as nicely as you take it out. I'll fuss with it. I'll fuss a little bit more with that later. See, you saw the retro grannies also have black. I got two of the black. 
and then to lighten things up a little bit I also got some pinks. These four went nicely together. Again, these are all Hershner's Worsted Weight 8. This color is Raspberry. This one is called Posy. Pretty light pink. This one is called Blush, and the last one is called Tea Rose. So I thought those four, these four, would make a great granny blanket as well. Last two colors I got from Hershner's was this other purple. This is the actual periwinkle. Very pretty. And of course I couldn't resist a variegated one. And this is called Crushed Berries. It's got lots of pinks and purples in there. So that's my Hershner's order. So I'll have lots of fun making squares out of that. Uh, to Lion Brand order. Lion Brand just came today and it came in this huge bo this box. The reason I ordered from Lion Brand as well is because of a pattern I found online on my Instagram page was this pretty shawl that's called the Summer Nights Ru Ruena, a color oversized garment by craftingforweeks.com and they recommended using this particular brand of yarn. Sorry, we just had an avalanche. Anyways, uh, this is, they recommend this ice cream yarn. Uh, this colorway is called Lime. This is 3.5 ounces or 100 grams or 225 yards. It's a medium floor weight. I got two green. I don't think green's in the pattern, but I just decided to order two green anyways. The next color is crepe, and I got two of those. The next colorway is a lemon, and it called for two of those. Very pretty. The next is called Blueberry, and it called for two of those. I love this one, as well as the purple. The next colorway is simply just called Orange. This one is called Strawberry. I like this one, too. The last one is called chocolate, and we needed two of those. All very pretty colors. Oh, this is the invoice, but they didn't put any pricing on, but it was directly from Lion Brand's website. So I'm going to make that pretty shawl with these yarns. back in the 
box if I can. Sorry, just bear with me here. I want to make the ruler and the shawl with that. Be right back. I'm just going to move one thing so it doesn't fall. Sorry about that. Also got some yarn when I went to Walmart. This is one bag here. I got some more Bernay Premium White because you can never have too much white yarn. And then I found this pretty blue and green speckled cotton yarn. Uh, this is my handicrafter cotton that I like to use. Oh, there's flicks of yellow in there too. Uh, this color is called Summer Print. And I believe I got six of those. Yeah, six of those. That's one day from Walmart. In this bag, I have three more balls of white. I think I might need some more for my white and pink, white and lavender blanket. And I did pick up three of the baby lilacs, but I'm using one already. So that's all I got at Walmart. I'll just set that there. been enjoying making the beads so I did go to Michael's as well sorry for the wrestling and I picked up another bead making kit because I wanted some of the smaller nose pliers and then I got some more beads I got these cute toucan ones Strawberry red. I got these cute little kittens. They're upside down, I think they're. And backwards, or they're two sided, two sided. Cute little cats. got some turquoise beads. And I got these pretty pearl ones. And I got some eye pins. And I got these colorful owls. Grab two unicorns. I got some more red beads. I got, I think these are supposed to be llamas. There's the other unicorn. 
got some lobster claws, a little bit of flare on those. That's all I got from Michael's. I got a few of my Etsy orders in. I got this cute llama print bag that with knitting. She put a cute I love yarn sticker on it or charm. And it's got a pocket inside and a little tape ruler at the top there, which is kind of cute. This I got off Etsy, so I'll try to link her shop down below. She wrapped it in tissue paper and put a cute llama stamp there. Oh, she does have a tag on it here. This is by April 9 Designs Project Bags and More. She put her cute little tag on there. And I also got this cute sheet bag with knitting. This has an inside pocket and lined with red. And this is by So Sandy So. And she sent. Um, Three charms. One's a sheep and one's a spinning wheel. Which was very thoughtful. And her steam wrapped in tissue with thank you stickers on it. So that was from So Sandy. So that was her second bag I purchased from her. And I decided I want to try getting back into making project bags as well, so I found this cute llama pattern that matches the bag I previously have. And it came in this fun donut bag. And this is from Sunshine and Peony. This was on Etsy as well. I got some fabric and then I'll show you my finished stitch markers that I made and I want to thank Carrie Lee again for sending me some butterfly charms that was very thoughtful I made up these cute butterfly ones that these are the butterflies that she sent me And I did the turquoise one because they're the, my two favorite colors. And I also found these blue owls. I made them into stitch markers too. He doesn't want to turn the right way. There we go. And there's a darker blue one. And I also made two unicorns. There's one. And two. So I'll Hopefully I'll have those up in my shop later this week. So that's it for finished, or that's it for my purchases. So I'll show you a few of my finished objects.
I just uh, finished some dishcloths this week. This one is orchid. This is sugar and cream. And this one's uh, Bernay Handicrafter cotton. I found this in a larger ball. And I think this is summer prints. I'll get the ball in just a second. And I made two of those. I thought that was quite pretty with a different flex in there. And I already cast it on another dishcloth here. And it's, this is a big ball I found at Walmart. And it's called Floral Print, so I thought that was quite pretty. So that's why when I found the blue and green flecked yarn, I got it, because it reminded me of this one. And the other project I've been working on is the two strands held together. Sorry, I'm just trying to clean the blanket off here. For this project, I'm using the 8mm uh, crochet hook. Don't know why I was going to see knitting needles. It's actually getting quite large. This I'm just doing a simple half double crochet, two strands held together, uh, baby lilac and white in the Bernie Premium. So it's coming along, I think two more balls and I might be done. These are the two colors I'm using here. And it's my favorite yarn, the Brene Premium. So that's coming along. And I'm also making progress on my Rue sw sweater card cardigan. This is how far I got. This I'm using the Anti-Pilling Everyday DK by Premier and the color black. And this is the cardigan I'm making. I believe I'm using four millimeter needles. Let me double check. Yes, four, four millimeter knitting needles. This one is Susan Bates that I have here. I still might try to get a circular needle to hold the number of stitches better. And, oh, I just started another project. You know me, I'm always starting one. This is, it here, it's another shawl. Uh, this one's Sharon's Crochet. This is the, I'm using the Skinny Cakes. This is the color Birthday Cake. This is the one I got at Michael's online at their $5 sale. Oh yes, I did write the name down. It's Crochet Simple and Elegant Beginner Shop by Siren's Crochet. That's S-I-R-I-N apostrophe S. And she's here on YouTube and she has a blog as well. So that's it there. So it's turning out quite lovely. I believe I'm using a 450 for this one, I think. 
for a 50 millimeter crochet hook. It says it's easy, but you do have to think about it a little bit to get the right amount of stitches in the right spot. But it is just a two row repeat. Like I needed to start another project, but there, there you go. Okay, oh, I was going to show you one more thing. I had some more yarn from Walmart. Trying to prevent another avalanche. At one of my Walmarts, we had some more of the ice cream. And this is a color blueberry. And let's see. My nail keeps catching in the yarn today. I picked up five of those. I thought that would make another pretty shawl as well. So I got those. And I thought these were pretty might make socks or something. Uh, this is Summer Nights by Lion Brand. And look at that sparkle, you guys. Uh, this is seven ounces, 200 grams, machine wash and dry flat. This is 82% acrylic and 18% polyester. And this is called Castaway and I picked up two of them. I'm not sure of make socks or a shawl out of this and this is a fine one so that's why I was probably thinking socks because it is very thin okay so yeah that's all I have for you today it's a little bit longer than I was planning on I hope that's okay I would like to thank everybody for joining me subscribing liking and sharing my videos. I really appreciate that. And I enjoy our weekly get togethers here. I hope everybody stays safe and happy and healthy and hope you all have a great weekend. Until the next video, take care guys. Bye.